Alrighty guys, we're here um, at SDRC Raceway racing the 2023 INS um, Indoor National Series. Um, one of the biggest questions that I get um, is about what bodies to run, which one is preferred, which one is not preferred, um, why, why do you run that one, and why don't you run that other one. And today I'm going to be showing you a live in depth um, driving through the progressions of the two different um, bodies, the F2 and the P2 body, seems to be the most popular for us that are, that are racing the, the indoor off-road races. Um, I've had a lot, of, a lot of success racing the F2 um, J Concept body. I've also had a lot of success racing the P2 body. It seems like we always bounce back and forth, but for the most part, I traditionally run the J Concepts F2 um, two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive bodies. So for this video, we're gonna be showing you um, what bodies for the two-wheel drive buggy, um, what the difference is between the two, and um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as always, it's encouraged. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe, and uh, let's get right into the video. So now that I kind of introduced the two bodies, we have the um, P2 J Concepts body, F2 J Concepts body for the B6.4. I'm going to be doing a live action to show you guys the difference between the two bodies, the different characteristics that go on around the track, the jumping handling, the landing handling, the corner handling. Um, I'm going to keep the, my, my mic on and I'll, I'll commutate as I'm driving and kind of show you guys the differences that I feel when I change between the two bodies. So i um, going to be up next in about 30 seconds and I'll show you guys um, what I think. All right, now that i got the FT body on, some of my um, initial characteristics that I feel with the car is that it's pretty quick on its feet. It jumps pretty level, has good turn in. A little bit maybe of an oversteer. Like I said, the body um, makes the car just kind of jump nose up here. Good steering, quick and out of steering. It kind of has more of a pivot feel when you're turning into um, sections. And let's go for a quick body change right here. The Jero. So Jason's going to be changing the body to the P2. <laughs> See what the difference is live here. Look at that pit stop right there. Oh yeah. So as I was saying a little bit earlier, the P2 always seems like it loads the rear end a little bit more. Always feels like it has a little bit more grip. And keep an eye on like the jumping with the different bodies. The turn in here is a little bit smoother than the F2. But sometimes the quickness of the 180 steering might be a little bit slower. Still jumps really similar to the, to the F2, but the consistency of the two bodies are very different in their own little way. Through this section, it seems like I have more grip because it's loading the rear end. Yeah, this is a pretty balanced package here. It's actually kind of difficult to drive when you're talking. <clears throat> but yeah, it's pretty fun. And that's pretty much it. All right, so after the summary of the running that we did and kind of commutating on the two different bodies, um, got the F2 in my right hand, got the P2 in my left hand. Um, like I was saying, going through the corners and apexes, it seemed like the P2 always kept the rear end loaded, held traction a little better. It almost seemed like with the F2, um, and historically what I've always felt between the two bodies is this one's a little bit sharper on its feet, which depending on the track layout and how the track conditions progress throughout the weekend, you might need a different kind of feel. So as this weekend, as the track's been drying out, I've been running the F2 body, but it seems like for more stability in, in the stable part about the tracks that, or this track specifically, I actually preferred running the P2 body and I'll probably switch over to the for this body for the main event starting tomorrow. So um, I didn't really have that great of a performance this weekend so far in qualifying with my two-wheel drive. I've been crashing a lot. 
Um, so I'm gonna switch over to the PT body and see what it gives me and kind of go from there. Um, once again, guys, hopefully the um, me commentating live with the two different bodies um, shows you a little bit of the differences and maybe this is something that can open up to some other further videos for you guys. And um, as always, I appreciate you guys tuning in to the J Concepts um, YouTube channel, Facebook channel, Instagram channel. And um, once again, thanks Hannah behind the camera. I'm a Spencer Rifkin. If you don't know who I am, um, give this video a like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one. Here they are, the Bible's right, one more.